So what would you, what'd you tell her? Rotten hell. <laughs> you didn't say rotten hell. What did you actually say? So why don't you love me anymore? What'd she say, man? Because I just don't. She said that, just like that. After three years. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Well, I got an idea. What? I have got a bit of valuable advice, my friend. A little philosophy that I would like to, you know, share with you right now. Is that okay? Please. I knew you'd say that. You agree that women, they suck, don't they? They really suck. Right. But how many of them actually suck well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I can't remember the last time I had even a halfway decent blowjob. I make them stop half the time. I'm like, yo, 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 enough. It's not a fucking artichoke, all right? And the funny thing is, they think they're fantastic. Hmm? Right? Do you know how many women I've heard tell me? Oh, you couldn't handle me? I'd rock your world. Huh? Too many. And then when it comes time to close the deal, it's like Flipper on Prozac. Hmm? You ever had a dead fish fuck? No? I think I'd rather have a root canal. See, most women just think that being present is all that is required for bedroom artistry, right? And that may be true for the guys who get laid once a leap year. But, my friend, the effects of a dead fish fuck on a guy like me could have severe ramifications. It's gonna fuck me up for life, you know? Let's get you ready for the party, come on.